Hey, Maria back with another video and it's Sunday morning and I'm just kind of kicking back with a cup of coffee and uh, working on my house here. Um, I have some dusting to do and I'd like to clean the floors and um, you know, just that regular household stuff. I'm committed to not leaving the house today. I did um, look around for some chairs yesterday. I didn't find anything that I really wanted. So um, I did find a tablecloth that I liked, so I have that, but I um, haven't found um, any chairs yet. So I'm still looking for pink chairs or maybe yellow or blue or something like that would be cute. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just kind of kicking back and I was thinking about, you know, Sunday um, mornings, you know, when I was a kid, you know. And every Sunday, you know, my family made this huge breakfast, you know, and that was like, you know, supposed to be a really big deal. You know, it kind of was to me, but, you know, because <laughs> sometimes, you know, my dad would make omelets or something, you know, and I loved omelets. Um, he always made pancakes really big, and I always felt really disappointed because I couldn't finish them all. Like, I didn't want to hurt his feelings, you know. So, anyway, those, those thoughts kind of make me um, smile. I don't think he cared if I finished the pancake or not, but for some reason I always, like, felt, gosh, I don't want to hurt his feelings, you know. Anyway, um, so, yeah, you know, Sundays used to have, you know, that, that special um, feeling, you know, in the mornings for me. Um, and then, of course, towards the evening I would start feeling dread because I'd have to go back to school and be bullied and the funny part is is that I was bullied at work so I felt the same way um on Sundays um as an adult isn't that funny <laughs> kind of weird and it was the same people kind of crazy kind of crazy anyway um but I'm not trying to take jabs I'm just thinking about the course of my life and how it, it was um you know, how it's been, you know, but, um, yeah, I used to have this feeling on Sundays that used to just bring this feeling of doom and gloom, you know, but I don't really feel any doom and gloom right now. Um, I'm hopefully that my family got the message because I'm just tired of it as well as, you know, everything else. So moving on from that. So I think a lot of people have the perception or the idea of me that, you know, I can't, I don't have fun or anything like that. And that's not true. I mean, people know that, you know, I'm always being silly, I'm goofy, and, you know, I, ha I can have a lot of fun. But the problem with it is, is that I've had, you know, so many issues with perps and, you know, dealing with these people um, that has caused a lot of problems for me. And, uh, you know, I don't think anybody likes to be around that sort of environment. I mean, God, I, I certainly don't. And so, uh, because I tend to be standoffish when I'm dealing with that sort of, you know, behavior, people get the wrong idea. Um, no, I'm actually, you know, I've always been <laughs> actually very bubbly. I'm very bubbly, and, you know, there's times where I can be downright spastic, you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, unfortunately, when you're in these situations, people only see the nervous side of you and the side that, you ha that has to protect itself, so... No, I mean, I'm, I'm, um, I'm somebody who enjoys, you know, having fun and, and whatnot. I'm just in the bad, always in bad situations, you know, so hopefully once these perps scatter, you know, I can go back and, and, and show my bubbly self again. But I enjoy having fun, you know, and I'm always, you know, I'm always up for doing something, you know, um, spontaneous and adventurous, you know, like people call me up and want to go somewhere, you know, I, I like getting out of town, but I, I rarely do anymore, you know, it's like, wow, um, I don't remember the last time I've actually been to any real event that, um, you know, where I actually socialized because, you know, for the last time I've been, for the last few years, I've been basically socially isolated because of the rumor mongering and all this other bullshit. So, no, I mean, I, I definitely am somebody who enjoys, you know, having a good time. Um, I'm not, and some people have the perception of me that I'm prudish or whatever. You know, um, that's not true. It's just I, I'm a reserved person and I, I want to be around quality people. And so, and a quality person to me is somebody who, number one, doesn't stab me in the back. Um, somebody who... Um, 
can hold a good quant conversation, but also be goofy at the same time. And there's been people that I've encountered that were like that, you know. Um, haven't kept in touch with these people because, you know, they're probably got brainwashed, <laughs> unfortunately. So, um, no, I mean, I, I enjoy having fun. I do. But um, it's just always under those circumstances that people have to see me and deal with me. And so, you know, yeah, that's what, that's what targeting does. It does. It, um, it uh, gives people the wrong impression of you and it creates a lot of social issues. But believe me, I would love to have fun. You know, I'm the kind of person, you know, if I want to get to know somebody, I, I don't mind, you know, inviting, um, you know, friends over for dinner, that kind of stuff. I mean, I would do that. I certainly would. I used to do that in the past, you know, many years ago. I would have people over at my house, and um, sometimes they'd hang out all day, you know. Of course, some of those people weren't the greatest quality, but, you know, I had, I had um, you know, some people that I actually, you know, clicked with that they felt comfortable enough to have eat in my home and, and whatnot, you know, and so that that has not happened in a very long time. So, you know, I would. I would certainly love to have that, you know, but things are what they are because of the social isolation. And I don't want to have any connection with the people that I used to know because it's, um, you know, how, you can't, it's, it's, it's very, it's unforgivable, is just what I'm saying. So it's just something that I have to move on from. But, you know, as far as meeting new people, of course, you know, of course I love to meet, you know, new people. It's just a matter of time, you know. I, I've been feeling, like, really flat and bored and, and just, like, a lack of energy, really. Um, yesterday I, I went out and, um, like I said, I was looking for those chairs and I went to a different part of town to look for them and I couldn't find them and um, basically what I'm looking for is like a 1970s <laughs> style chair, a kitchen, kitchen chair, you know. I'm sure you can remember what they look like, um, vinyl um, and metal legs, you know, very basic chair. They, I used to see them all the time in the store, you know, like their stores or um, antique shops and stuff and then like of course when I go out and try to find them. They're nowhere to be found. Isn't that funny? You know, I always feel like that sometimes. It's like, okay. Um, like if I get used to a certain product, you know, somehow or another it gets, you know, discontinued or something. I'm like, gosh, why does that shit always happen to me? It's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So uh, maybe I'll hit some garage sales next week or something, you know. Um, who knows? But it, I just need two chairs, you know what I mean? I don't need like four. I mean, I have a chair, I mean, a, t a little table right now. It's, it's actually, I don't know, maybe I'll show it to you. It can be, it's foldable, you know what I mean? And it's, um, here we go. Ooh, it's right there. There's my table. Um, um, it's foldable, you know, so um, I kind of keep it folded, you know, instead, you know, it will collapse. It's a round table. Um, and I, you know, it, it's cute, I guess. But, you know, of course, eventually I'd like to get something better. But it's all I could really pull together as I was leaving. <laughs> as I was leaving my, you know, the other house. So, um, but it's small enough and it fits in the kitchen and I really can't complain, you know. So, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm content here. And, um, you know, I, I, it's unfortunate that people have that perception of me that, oh, you know, I'm not a boring person at all. I mean, <laughs> not not by any by any means. You know, I I enjoy having you know um, I do I enjoy having company at my house. I do. Um, that is, of course, like I said, they're quality people and they're not you know trash talkers and they don't I can create all kinds of drama and whatever. And then of course, I'm more than happy to have them over. But. Um, Right now, I'm just dealing with a lot of, um, uh, fog in my brain, you know, because I'm trying to think, okay, well, how, how, um, how do I start, you know what I mean? Um, you know, because I, I, I'm kind of like a little uncomfortable, you know, um, talking to people because I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, the rumors and all this other crap. And I'm just like, 
unreal. You know, it's unreal. Um, wow, I, I really do hope the um, the town has learned the lesson and this won't happen to anyone else again, as well as other places as well. I'm, like I said, you know, I'm just trying to do what I can because this is really affecting a lot of people. So, um, yeah, today I'm trying really hard not to leave the house. I'm The only reason why I might leave the house is um, if I have to get ice. Um, my refrigerator, I will show you my refrigerator. It's really cute. I got this wonderful lady, sold it to me. And it's funny because I got this right after I did a YouTube video. And it's a very small refrigerator. Can you see it? It's very small. I mean, it's like, I'm actually taller than this refrigerator. <laughs> it's cute. But see, if you notice up here, you can tell that this is a, this space is really, really small. And uh, um, that's my little stove and stuff. But um, so you, and here's the freezer area. It's very small. I mean, I don't have a lot of room in my refrigerator. So, and I'm not complaining by about it. I'm not, you know, there's nothing to complain about really. But, um, here's my refrigerator. Where's Maria's refrigerator? That's what's in Maria's refrigerator. Um, and so I have to get ice every day because I drink a lot of tea and stuff like that. So I bought this little Coleman chest and I keep all my ice in it. Yeah. You know? My ice, which I think I have enough ice for today. If not, you know, I live like right across the street from an Albertson. So I, so it's kind of nice because I feel comfortable walking across the street and just grabbing some ice. It doesn't take me very long to, um, to do that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fine, you know, um, what else? Uh, but yeah, you know, just trying to have a nice, peaceful, relaxing Sunday, you know, um, and so, hopefully, like I said, I really don't want to leave the house. But if I do, it's just like, you know, get out. And I usually, I just walk to the store. I mean, it's kind of nice. I have walked up the neighborhood, um, you know, and I might do that today. I might go for a walk today. Only because I enjoy looking at the old homes, you know. And um, I do. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're cute and they're quaint, you know. And I like, I like looking at old buildings, old houses. You know, I think I mentioned this in my, one of my other videos, but there was a house up the street, and it looks like they have this, it's like a 1940s type um, truck, you know, and it's it's got some rust on it and whatever, but it's been parked for a long time. And I wonder, you know, is that, is that the original owner of that house, you know, or, you know, it just kind of intrigues, it intrigues me, you know, it makes me wonder, you know. But, you know, I, I, I guess I've always had different hobbies and interests. You know, I like old buildings. I like abandoned buildings. <laughs> I like abandoned buildings for some reason. Places that have been abandoned for a long time. I, mean, I used to explore that stuff, you know, as a teenager. And even as an adult, you know, which I think people think is kind of weird. But, um, yeah, I've, I've had those kind of interests, you know. Um, and it's funny because, like, on YouTube, there's a lot of people who... Um, actually explore abandoned homes and stuff and it's like wow you know and it's really cool when when somebody just left stuff just the way you, know, you can tell they packed up and left but they just left things behind that's fascinating to me you know um so yeah i mean i i have some kind of weird hobbies and interests and stuff like that but um whatever <laughs> you know um, so anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys have a uh, wonderful what's left of the weekend. Um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty sunshiny day. I'm just going to kick back here, enjoy my time uh, cleaning up the house. And, um, you know, um, I, I kind of want to do some reading today. So anyway, and of course, you know, I would love to go and, and do something. Like if I had a girlfriend to um, spend time with, I would probably... Um, call her up and we'd probably go out for a walk and then maybe do some light shopping or um, you know go to brunch or something you know but unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately I'm just kind of sitting here you know um, you know wherever that person is you know it'd be really cool if she came into my life because I'm like kind of bored right now you know, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.